facing a series of scandals. Premier Dalton McGuinty has adjourned the legislature and is stepping down. It's time for renewal. It's time for the next Liberal Premier. It's time for the next set of Liberal ideas to guide our province forward. The Ottawa South MPP shocked his Liberal caucus last night by announcing his resignation. McGuinty says he has also prorogued the legislature to allow for a cooling off period and give the Liberals time to negotiate a wage freeze. McGuinty has represented his riding for 22 years, spent the last 16 years as Liberal leader and nine years as Premier. Well, now the focus shifts to finding a new Liberal leader. With more on the names in the rumor mill this morning, we go live to reporter Melissa Lamb. Melissa, what can you tell us? Well, Annette, we still don't know when or where a leadership convention will be held, but already a handful of names are rumored to be interested in the leadership. Now, here is a breakdown for you. Kathleen Wynne, now she is a Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing and Aboriginal Affairs. She is a former Education Minister and was seen as sympathetic during that time. Finance Minister Dwight Duncan, who has said before he's not interested in the job. Other contenders are Energy Minister Chris Bentley and Health Minister Deb Matthews, who have recently suffered, suffered serious setbacks with the two cancelled gas plants and the Orange scandal. Now, last night they brushed off questions about their intentions. So would you consider uh, running for the Liberal Yeah, you know, today's Dalton's day. It's been a great honour to serve uh, the Premier. Great honour. It's not about that tonight. I've said no in the past. That remains my view. Uh, this is about Dalton McGuinty tonight. And another name that has been floating around is Ottawa Centre MPP Yasser Nakfi, who Ottawa Mayor Jim Watson says he thinks would be a terrific candidate. Annette. Okay, Melissa, thanks for that. The Canadian Museum of Civilization is getting a makeover. The federal government will announce this morning the Gatineau Museum will be renamed the Museum of History. About 1.2 million visitors a year visit the museum. The government will also unveil plans to ensure federal artifacts are showcased in other museums across Canada. A 41-year-old Ottawa man is facing a dozen charges after a child luring investigation. Ottawa police say a man posted an advertisement online indicating he wanted to have a sexual encounter with a young person. Police say an officer posing as a 14-year-old girl began an online chat with a man and made arrangements to meet at his home last Friday. Adam Carney appeared in court yesterday to face charges. Canadian households are deeper in debt than previously thought. New statistics show the average household has just 63 cents a disposable, of disposable income for every dollar in debt. That's the highest ratio of debt to income ever recorded in this country. Economists warn the household debt ratio is at the same level it reached just before the housing bubble burst in the United States. For the second time, U.S. President Barack Obama and Republican Mitt Romney will square off in a debate. The 90-minute town hall-style debate tonight will focus on domestic and foreign policy. It will include questions from 80 invited audience members. Obama's campaign has promised the president will be more aggressive following what was called a lackluster first debate. And we have an update on the 2012 Ottawa United Way campaign. So far, you have helped to raise $4,843,000. This year's goal is $30 million, and all that money supports individuals and organizations across the capital.